The definition of appointment means to set an official date and time at which to meet or deal with someone. Users should make an appointment by calling, by email, or by filling online application on a particular website. This video is all about how to book an appointment at Indian Embassy, Doha, Qatar for services such as certificate attestation, passport renewal, or power of attorney, etc., by online. The functions of the embassy are political and economic cooperation, trade and investment promotion, cultural interaction, rendering of passport and consular services to Indian community, promoting the welfare of non-resident Indians, overseas citizens of India, Indian workers. Without any ado, let's start the video. Open any web browser and search for Indian Embassy Qatar. Open first link to enter in the website. It's giving an alert as Beware of spoofed calls being made by some fraudsters, dubious people using Embassy's helpline mobile number, 5041241, soliciting money on behalf of Embassy of India. It is clarified no such calls have been made by the Embassy officials. Beware of such persons, and kindly do not disclose any personal details, such as passport number, Qatar ID number, or PAN card details. Kindly email us at labor.doha at emia.gov.in if you receive such fake calls. Let's close this window and scroll down for book an appointment. There are two options for booking an appointment. If you're a health care worker, you can use online appointment for health care workers option for special priority due to pandemic. Or else, click on online appointment for consular service. Once user clicks on option, a new link will open. General instructions for booking online appointment with mission. Attention, all applicants for visa, passport, OCI and consular services. 1. Please book appointment according to the service. For example, if you are seeking consular services, please book appointment for the consular services only. If you book any other appointment, say, visa or passport, to seek consular services, entry would not be allowed. 2. One applicant per appointment. Please note that only one applicant will be allowed as per the appointment. If you are seeking services for multiple persons, for example in case of family or group, please book separate appointment for each applicant. 3. Timings for submission of documents for visa or OCI, passport and consular services, 9.15 to 12.15 hours from Sunday to Thursday only. 4. Appointments can be booked only two months in advance. 5. The timing for collection of passport is from 15 hours to 16 hours. And for visa or OCI, miscellaneous consular documents are from 16 hours to 17-15 hours. From Sunday to Thursdays. For collection, prior appointment is not needed. Please bring the receipt given at the time of submission of application. 6. It has been noticed that vested interests are taking advantage of the online appointment system causing inconvenience to genuine applicants. Thus, necessary technical checks have been introduced in the system to avoid multiple bookings by a few individuals. 7. In case an emergency services is required, a link is provided in the appointment confirmation receipt. Any misuse or false claim for emergency services will render the appointment cancelled and subsequent service will be denied. To continue click on, click here to proceed. Are you an Indian national, then select yes, and click on proceed, or else select no, and click on proceed. Once user clicks on proceed, appointment application will open. Let's fill the application by providing details. First user has to select service from drop-down list, such as passport service, PCC service, or any other service mentioned in a given list. I want to book an appointment for power of attorney so I will select that. Next select appointment date. The dates are shown in different colors. Red color dates indicates holidays. Gray color dates indicate no appointment can book. Green color dates indicates appointment can be booked if any free time slots available. Let me select any date and check the slots availability. 
As you can see there is no slots available on the selected date. User have to check the each date for slot availability. Let me check the slot availability by selecting random dates. As you can see on the screen, finally I have get some free slots. So select any time from available slots. If you're worried about lengthy appointment dates, don't worry I have a solution to get appointment in Top Cal or immediate. In the next video I will show how to get appointment in Top Cal. But make sure user have to complete this appointment with available date. Link given in the description. Complete the remaining application and click on request appointment. It will take a while to submit the application. Please wait. Success. Your appointment has been confirmed. Please check your mail for confirmation. We have submitted appointment application successfully. Now let's check email for appointment confirmation. As you can see on the screen I have received an email from Embassy of India, Doha. As dear applicant, greeting from Embassy of India. Your appointment for consular services in the Embassy of India, as follows. Name of the applicant. Email ID. Mobile number. Date of appointment. Time slot. Service. Token number. Counter number. Registration ID. This ID we will use in the next video, to get immediate appointment. Please find and close the appointment confirmation along with this mail. You are requested to present a copy of the confirmation, hard copy, or digital, at the time of appointment. Scroll down and find the attachment. User will receive a appointment receipt in PDF format attached in email. Take the print out and visit to embassy in your turn. Hope you learn how to get an appointment online to visit Indian Embassy Doha, Qatar. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, please visit to our Facebook page, Qatar Labor Help. Or visit to our website www.easyrobotech.com. If you like this video don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.